Dear students, today we are going to see one more theorem. The theorem says, if f of z is equal to u of x plus y plus i v of x plus y is such that both f of z and f, j, f, f bar of z are analytic in a domain D, then f of z is constant. So we have to prove that f of z is nothing but constant. So uh, by taking f of z is nothing but analytic, we will try to prove that f of z is nothing but constant. We will try to prove now. Given f of z is equal to u plus i v is analytic function. So you should understand whenever a function is analytic, uh, it satisfies CR equation that is u of x, u, ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx. You take it as number 1 for all x comma v belongs to d. And also you can see that f dash of z is also analytic means f dash of z is nothing but with respect to x we are differentiating this one ux plus i vx okay so this is i vx v y v okay so therefore uh, therefore this is nothing but f dash of ux plus i vx for all x belongs to d and uh, f dash z bar is also analytic means conjugate of this also is analytic so f, f of z bar is nothing but equal to u of x comma y plus i v of x comma y bar. Simply I can say u of x comma y minus i v of x comma y. Like z d is equal to x plus i y. Z bar is nothing but equal to x minus i y. In the same manner f of z bar is equal to this. E is also analytic. So whenever it is analytic means f, f of z bar is analytic. This function should also satisfy CR equations. So, according to this here equations, we will write in the form of like ux is equal to minus vy because it is conjugate. For conjugate, we are writing the CR equations. And uy is equal to minus vx. Okay. uy is equal to we have written as minus vx because anyhow it is minus is given. So, we will write as minus vx. Okay. Now, we will we'll try to find out now. vy is equal to, we will take what is ux? ux is nothing but vy from this so vy is equal to minus vy and uy equal to minus vx so minus vx is nothing but equal to vx okay so uh, this is this is nothing but we'll take it as plus because it is already given as minus we have taken that minus of minus we need to take this is minus of minus because uh, for uh, u plus i v by uy is equal to minus vx so u minus i v y you are going to take as minus of minus v x so therefore this is minus i v v of x comma x comma y no so for this we are taking as u of y is equal to plus v of uh, v, v x so u y equal to what minus v x so minus v x equal to v x so you'll be getting as 2 v x equal to 0 v x is taken to this side we got as 2 v x equal to 0 therefore v y is nothing but equal to 0 v x is nothing but equal to 0 so v x is equal to v y is equal to 0 you should understand this is nothing but equal to 0 so whenever v x and v y is equal to 0 if this is nothing but dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y so if we integrate on both sides we will get v is equal to some constant because if integrate on both we will get constant so similarly we can prove ux is equal to uy is equal to 0. So, therefore, what we got is f dash of z is nothing but equal to ux plus ivx. This is 0, this is also 0. So, what you got f dash of z is equal to 0. So, if uh, if you take integration on both sides, you will get f of z is equal to constants. Therefore, f of z is constant. So, what we have proved here is if f of z is nothing but u of x comma y, iv of x comma y is such that f of z and f of z are f of z bar is analytic then we can say the f of z is constant. This is a small theorem they may give for 4 marks. Now we will go for another theorem. The theorem is nothing but like this. By making use of the above theorem, we will also find out this. If f of z is analytic in a domain D, then mod f of z is constant. Already we have proved this mod f of z is constant in the previous, uh, uh, previous theorem. Now we will try to find out what is that. By taking mod f of z is constant, we have to prove that f of z is constant. So therefore, if G, uh, given that f of z is constant in domain D and such that f of z is nothing but constant. Now this is nothing but he has given that constant. So I am taking as constant C where C is constant. If C is equal to 0, mod f of z is 0. Therefore, f of z is 0 for all z belongs to D. Okay. So therefore, f is a constant function anyhow because if you, if you take C equal to 0, anyhow you will get f is a constant. This is a constant function. But we have chosen as c is equal to 0. You have to take it like this. Now, 
So when c is equal to 0, f of z is nothing but equal to 0. So what we are going to do is, suppose that c is not equal to 0. Maybe c greater than 0. Then we say that c greater than 0. So we'll uh, mod f of z is equal to c we are taking. Such that squaring on both sides, this s, o, b, s is nothing but squaring on both sides. So mod f of z square is equal to c square. Because we have that mod z square is equal to z into z bar. Now we'll write this mod f, f of z square is equal to f of z into f of z bar that is equal to c square for all z belongs to d so therefore what is that now i wanted to have mod f of z bar this will go down so therefore i may write f of z is not equal to zero since since this may not be equal to zero because it is equal to zero there will nothing will be there so f of z this should not be equal to zero so mod f of z uh, sorry f of z bar is nothing but equal to c square by f of z since f of z is not equal to 0. Therefore, f of z bar, you will be, you'll be getting the quotient of this. If you divide c square, the constant by the function f of z, you will get the quotient. So, therefore, I am writing as f of z bar is nothing but is a quotient of c square and f of z is, so it is quotient of c square as well as, you can see f of z is analytic in D. Okay. So, therefore, f of z bar is analytic function in D, both. And f of z and f of z bar are nothing but analytic function. We got both our analytic function in D. So, therefore, when f of z and f of z bar are analytic, it must be constant by according to the previous theorem. So, therefore, f of z must be a constant. So, what you have proved that, what you wanted to prove, f of z is constant. We have taken m r f of z is constant and we have proved that f of z is nothing but constant. This is also a theorem which they, which they may give for 4 marks. Thank you.